Hi, Valder. Good morning, Nancy O'Dell. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I am having an exceptional life, Nancy, so thank you for joining us on the Valder Beebe Show. Oh, well, that's a very important thing to have an exceptional life. I like the way you phrase that. Thank you so much. You can have a mediocre life if you choose, or you can have an ordinary <laughs> life, and I chose an exceptional. I feel inspired can. already, Valder. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. Well, I'm inspired because I want to talk with you, because I'm thinking your kids are getting a little bit older, because you want to talk about <laughs> tips on how parents can help their teens stay safe on the road. I do. Well, I have various age kids. My youngest is five years old, and then I have... Um, two teenage boys, one of whom just got his uh, driver's permit. So he's 17 year old and he's Tyler. And I say that my fingernails are in the you know car seat when I'm driving with him because you realize when you drive with them for the first time that you know they don't have the experience obviously and that that's what's so incredibly important to a new driver. And that's why I love that I've partnered with this program, the Drive at Home program, the Allstate Foundation and the National Safety Council have teamed up and they have created this wonderful website, driveathome.org where parents can go. It's a great resource for coaching tips that you can give your teens. And it also will tell you all kinds of statistics that will, one, help you as a parent because it actually scares you a little bit when you read the statistics about that crashes are the number one killer of teens and that that year after they get their license is one of the most dangerous years that they will ever have in their life. And it's, you think that, you know, when your teen goes out that, that, oh, okay, well, maybe it was because he was texting that he had a crash or maybe because he went to a party and then he drove, drove. All those things are very important for you to talk to your teen about, but believe it or not, the crashes are most oftentimes caused by inexperience. And so just simply by getting in the car with your teen for about 30 minutes a week, more if you can, but at least 30 minutes a week and driving with them, you can help them so much. And the Allstate Foundation has shown uh, through statistics that more than half of teens want parents to spend more time in the car with them because they're scared. You know, it's really, I don't know if you remember the first time that you drove Valder, but it's scary. You get in that car and I remember sitting there for the first time I was going to make a left turn, you know, across traffic and sitting there for like 20 minutes with people beeping behind me because I was so afraid to make that left turn. So it's, <laughs> we want more people to, to spend, you know, we want our parents to spend more time in the car with us learning. That's very true. And my husband did exactly what you did. He must've been one of the people they survey. Uh, I didn't have the courage, but he did. <laughs> and my my daughter is an extremely good driver. My son, he's missed a hot rod, but my daughter's a really good driver. That's a good thing. Well, she's probably gotten a little bit experienced, so she got the confidence behind her. But you know, actually, fifty percent of all the Texas teens have said that that you know that their parents you know need to set the the rules on night restrictions. So only fifty percent of them have set the rules on like high risk situations like night driving and driving in the rain. So it's very important that you set these parameters as a parent when they first start driving and. Uh, on the website, there's actually this incredible contract that you can download for teens and parents to sign, which will talk about things like that driving at night and having your teen promise that, you know, until they get some experience in their hands, you know, that they will not drive at night alone. So it's very important for you to, like when it starts raining, these high risk situations, and these again are tips that you'll find on the website, but take that opportunity when it rains to get in the car with your teen and have them practice driving in the rain because. Having them drive in the rain for the first time by themselves, not a good idea. They need to be able to learn those things that we, you know, take as doing naturally now because we've been driving for so long. This is parents being parents, Nancy, uh, in a sense. This is what parents are required to do because we're their first teachers in everything. Yeah, it's it's so true, and and um, the parents will tell you in the statistics that they found out that they wish they had spent more time. Two thirds of them say, "I wish that I had spent more time with my teen driving." So if you hear that, and you know you may regret it later, if you're listening right now and you are the parent of a new driver, know that you're going to wish that you had spent more time in the car with your teen and driving in those high risk situation. And and you, there's also this program, Second City Communications, that parents can go to. It's it's a fun and interactive way for teens to be able to learn some of the rules as far as driving and to learn about safe driving and tips. And they did, uh, the, the Second City Communications has partnered with the Allstate Foundation as well as the National Safety Council. And they're bringing these programs to different cities. So you can look for that in the Texas area. What great opportunities for 
feeling safe about your children and allow them to be safe drivers for the rest of us. I like that, Nancy. Yeah, it's very good. And, and even on the website, you can actually get weekly emails of coaching tips. I do that and I look at the weekly email and then I know it kind of gives you a program to follow as far as what you want to do with your teen. And so it'll give me something that I want to practice with Tyler. And, you know, even driving in the car, this, this sounds so simple, but honestly, if you think about it, driving in the car and having them while you're in the car with them practice tuning the radio because you know they're going to do that you know when they're on their own so being able to to do that while you're in the car with them and and, and showing them how to be able to kind of scan the road and and not get too distracted when they're doing something as simple as that is very important for you to do as a parent that's so that's so incredible tell me the website once again nancy it is called driveathome.org driveathome.org and again if you sign up they will send you weekly emails they'll send you tips to do with your kids there's incredible videos on the website where um, your teen can watch them you can watch them as a parent and they will really help you coach through you can also compare notes with other parents on the website to determine what has been working for those parents and you can write in there what has been working for you as far as helping your new driver to learn and again I mean I can't emphasize this so much it's like it's it's so important when you hear the crashes of the number one killer of teens for us to be able to be hands-on with our teens and be proactive I mean we want to protect our kids that's what we want to do here's a way that you can do that I love that, Nancy. i got to ask you a personal question. What's the best thing about your job on Entertainment Tonight? Because you told me you would tell me last time I talked to you. <laughs> what the is best the thing? best thing? I don't know. What, staring into the eyes of Bradley Cooper, George Clooney, and Brad Pitt? Is that the best thing? <laughs> uh, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know if it's the thing. best. <laughs> no, I always say the best thing about my job is that it's always changing. That's one thing that I love is that even if you're interviewing Tom Cruise for the 50th time, it's about a different movie at a different location, um, about a different subject. And so you can never get bored. It's fun. I like Nancy. I like that, Nancy. We like Nancy O'Dell in Dallas, Texas. So, Nancy O'Dell, thank you for telling us about something that really can change our lives, is helping our kids to be safe on the road. I really like your partnership with Allstate. Thank you for talking about it. Oh, it's good to talk to you. Thanks for having me on. I'll be watching you on Entertainment Tonight, as I always do. I appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs> Bye-bye.